The new Embraer C390 Millennium, anticipated as the successor to the C130, is a formidable contender poised to revolutionize the industry. You might think we're repeating ourselves, but that's far from the truth. This aircraft is so exceptional that aviation enthusiasts can't help but keep it in the spotlight. Today, we bring you fresh insights. So, how will it dominate the aviation landscape? Can it outshine the C-130? Let's dive in. For decades, the medium military cargo transport market has been dominated by Lockheed Martin's C-130 Super Hercules until the C-390 Millennium appeared. First, what kind of company is Embraer? We've discussed the history of this company in a previous video. If you're interested, we'll link to that video at the end so you can check out our earlier analyses of this aircraft. Now, let's see what is the purpose of the C-390. On April 2nd, 2007, Embraer announced plans to produce a large military cargo jet to replace older Cold War era cargo aircraft with a more modern design. Technology solutions from the Embraer 190 series were incorporated into the development of this aircraft. They invested over $460 million in the aircraft's development. And by April 2nd, 2009, Embraer was awarded a $1.5 billion contract to manufacture two prototypes. With funding from the Brazilian Air Force, production began on May 2nd, 2009. After a series of extensive flight tests with the prototypes, the aircraft was officially introduced in 2019 as the C-390 Millennium, designed as a direct competitor capable of replacing Lockheed Martin's C-130 Super Hercules. Can it really do that? Let's explore the details. Before exploring its advantages, there's a question that might cause some confusion for those who are unfamiliar. Is it C-390 or KC-390? The Embraer KC-390. Millennium Military Transport Aircraft was officially unveiled at the Farnborough International Air Show in 2016. After accumulating approximately 19,900 flight hours during the testing phase, the aircraft received its type certification on September 20, 19. The Brazilian Air Force was the first customer, with the first unit delivered shortly after that, marking an important milestone for this aircraft line. The aircraft's name can be a bit confusing, as it is sometimes referred to as C-390 and other times as KC-390. In fact, the C-3 is the basic military transport version, with C standing for cargo, similar to other transport aircraft like the C-130 or C-295. Meanwhile, KC-390 is the modified version with aerial refueling capabilities, akin to aircraft such as the KC-130 or KC-135. In addition to refueling missions, the KC variant can serve multiple purposes, and Embraer is testing variants such as firefighting aircraft. Furthermore, Embraer plans to develop a civilian version by removing military equipment and expanding the fuselage. However, it is quite rare for military transport aircraft to succeed in the commercial market. Although the official name is KC-390, Embraer later decided to use the name C-390 for the basic versions to broaden the market. The Brazilian Air Force ordered 28 C-390s to replace its aging C-130 fleet. And since entering service, the aircraft has participated in numerous military and humanitarian missions, as well as international exhibitions. The C-130 Super Hercules has long been the dominant player in this segment of the aviation market, which meant that Embraer needed to demonstrate its capability to produce a competitive military cargo jet. With the C-3 Millennium, Embraer has successfully achieved this goal. The C-390 Millennium is designed as a versatile cargo aircraft, featuring an adaptable layout that allows for quick modifications based on various mission requirements. Equipped with modern technology, including the Rockwell Collins Pro Lean Fusion Avionics System and mission software for operational support, it offers ease of use and efficiency, attributes that many older aircraft simply cannot match. While it's not to say that competing aircraft are inferior, the C-390 comes with a comprehensive suite of effective features that sets it apart. First, let's discuss the engines of this remarkable aircraft. The C-390 is powered by a pair of V2500E5 turbofan engines from International Aero Engines, each providing a thrust of up to 139 kilonewtons. These engines are also used in the Airbus A320 commercial jets, showcasing their reliability and fuel efficiency. Although they have some performance limitations in hot and high altitude conditions, the aircraft meets military requirements effectively, and there are no plans for engine changes shortly. While jet engines have some weaknesses, such as lower speed and altitude compared to other jet aircraft, 
They are more flexible and capable of operating closer to the ground, flying at slower speeds, and performing various tactical missions. However, with a maximum speed of 0.8 Mach, which is 540 miles per hour, the C-390 is still faster than any other medium transport aircraft on the market. This is ideal for military commanders, as one of the greatest challenges in military operations is logistics. Jet engines typically require much lower runway specifications than heavy transport vehicles like the C-17 or L-76. The primary mission is to transport cargo quickly and over long distances, and the reduced flexibility of these larger aircraft can be acceptable. Using jet engines on a medium military transport aircraft offers clear advantages such as lower maintenance costs and improved flight performance. Although there are some limitations when operating at unprepared airfields, Embraer has conducted extensive testing to ensure that the engines are not easily damaged by flying debris. With a service ceiling of 11,000 meters, this jet achieves an average level compared to others in its class. But when compared to turbo engines, its performance is considered superior. This is thanks to improvements that significantly reduce operational efforts. The aircraft can fly at a minimum speed of just 104 knots, which is particularly useful for maintaining safety in hazardous areas where staying at a low altitude is not advisable. Its descent capability is also impressive, allowing it to drop at a rate of up to 2,700 meters per minute, facilitating quick landings. In emergency scenarios, a sudden altitude reduction has been taken into account, including the option of using reverse thrust in flight, a feature previously tested on the C-17. However, after evaluation, manufacturers decided that this feature could be overly complex and unnecessary, so it was not widely implemented. As mentioned, the Embraer Millennium stands out for its multi-role capability, making it an attractive option for many countries. With a flexible design and modern equipment, this aircraft can perform not only military transport missions, but also a variety of other roles. First and foremost, it serves as a primary military transport vehicle, capable of carrying approximately 26 tons of cargo, including troops, equipment, and military vehicles. This makes it highly effective for logistics operations and troop deployments. Additionally, the KC-390 variant is equipped with aerial refueling systems, allowing it to fuel other aircraft and extend the operational range of air forces. Furthermore, the C-390 can participate in search and rescue and humanitarian relief missions, transporting aid, and conducting medical evacuations in disaster or war-torn areas. Its ability to land on difficult terrains makes it well-suited for these operations. The aircraft can also support strategic and tactical operations, quickly transporting military personnel to conflict zones, dropping paratroopers, or providing direct logistical support. Finally, with its sensors and electronic systems, it is capable of conducting reconnaissance and patrol missions and monitoring border areas or conflict zones. In summary, the multi-role capabilities of the Millennium provide significant flexibility for user nations, serving both military and humanitarian purposes. The C-390 is marketed as a modern, cost-effective alternative to the C-130, with an initial price of around $55 million in 2016, now rising to about $85 million. Despite the price increase, a new Hercules remains more expensive. Utilizing advanced solutions and technologies, including civil innovations, promises lower operational costs, an important consideration for military fleets. These factors have made the C-3 an attractive option for many countries. Portugal was the first international customer ordering five units. Other nations, including Hungary, the Netherlands, and South Korea, have also placed orders indicating strong global interest in the aircraft. Despite its advantages, the C-390 inevitably faces challenges. While there aren't many competitors in this segment, the limited options can be a drawback. The primary challenge is how it can compete with the established C-130 Hercules, a legendary aircraft respected worldwide since its first flight in 1954. Despite multiple upgrades, the C-1 has conceptual limits. In contrast, the C-3, equipped with modern technology, is a formidable rival. Both aircraft offer similar passenger and pallet capacities, but the C-3 surpasses the Hercules in payload, boasting a capacity of 57,000 pounds compared to the C-1's 42,000 pounds, 
translating to a maximum takeoff weight of 87 tons versus the Hercules' 70 tons. Another challenge is the rise of strong competitors in the military transport sector. Following the Millennium's announcement, various companies entered the market. Notably, Boeing recognized the potential of this project and began developing a new aircraft model distinct from the E-190, increasing its payload to 21 tons to compete directly with the C-130. Lastly, the Millennium's engines, while efficient and low maintenance, may have limitations in low speed performance, affecting takeoff and landing capabilities. Additionally, the aircraft requires a runway length of about one kilometer, which, although manageable, highlights its operational constraints, especially in extreme conditions. Nonetheless, both Embraer and its military customers remain satisfied with the aircraft's performance. According to you, can this Embraer aircraft replace the Hercules? Leave a comment to let us know. Thanks and wish you have safe flights.